Hi, Bill Lethman here. Welcome back. In this segment, I'm going to discuss your options for collecting your benefits. In this video, we're going to cover when you can collect your benefits, when should you collect your benefits, working while collecting Social Security, and how your benefits may be taxed. So basically, you have three options of when you can start collecting your Social Security benefits. You can collect a reduced benefit as early as age 62. You can collect your full benefit at your full retirement age, or you can increase your benefit by delaying past your full retirement age to as late as age 70. So collecting your benefits early. And if you choose, anyone can begin collecting Social Security benefits as early as age 62. However, your benefits will be reduced by a different percentage depending on when your full retirement age is. So for example, if your full retirement age is 66, your benefits will be reduced by 25% if you start collecting at age 62. Important to note is that this is a permanent reduction in your benefits. Your benefits will not jump up when you reach full retirement age. Also, as we'll review later, this will also permanently affect the amount that your spouse will get as a survivor benefit. So what if I collect at age 63? Well, it's usually pretty easy to find information about how much you'd get if you started to collect at age 62 or 66, but what if you retired at age 63, 64, or 65? Well, the good news is that the Social Security Administration does have a formula to calculate this. However, the bad news is that, just like most things the government does, they don't make it very easy. So here's the formula. They will reduce your full retirement age benefit by 5 ninths of 1% for every month that you collect early for the first three years, and 5 twelfths of 1% for every subsequent month. You got that? I know it's confusing. But remember, you can always go to the Social Security website and use their calculator. Now, delaying your benefits beyond full retirement age. Another important thing to know is that you don't have to take your benefits right away when you reach full retirement age. In fact, for some people, there can actually be some pretty significant advantages to delaying your benefits. Depending on the year you were born, you will get an increase to your full retirement age benefit for every year that you don't take a payment. And it's pretty good. If you were born in 1943 or later, Social Security will increase your payment by 8% for every year that you delay. So when should you collect? So obviously there's some very important considerations in deciding whether to collect early, wait until full retirement age, or delay your benefits. Here's a few things to keep in mind. First of all, do you need the money? Are you actually retiring? Your health and family history? The age and health of your spouse? Whose benefits will your spouse collect? Do you plan to work more before you reach full retirement age? Now let's talk about working before full retirement age. A lot of people want to know what happens if they continue to work after they begin collecting benefits. So if you're collecting benefits prior to your full retirement age, you can earn up to $14,160 with no reduction in your benefits. But your benefit will be reduced by $1 for every $2 that you earn above that limit. In the year that you reach full retirement age, they're a little more liberal with the earnings limits. This year, you can earn up to $37,680 without a reduction. If you go over, your benefit will be reduced by $1 for every $3 that you exceed the limit in the months prior to reaching your full retirement age. Now let's look at, at, look at working beyond full retirement age. So in the month that you reach your full retirement age, there's no limit as to how much you can earn. There's no reduction in your benefits. One more thing, if you choose to work while collecting Social Security, you will lose all of your FICA tax collected from your paycheck. So unless you really need the money, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to collect Social Security while you're still working. Now let's look at taxation of benefits. About a third of all people collecting Social Security will have to pay taxes on their benefit. This is because the thresholds have never been adjusted for inflation. Basically, if your provisional income is under $25,000 if you're single or $32,000 if you're married, you won't have to pay any taxes on your Social Security. But if your provisional income is over $34,000 if you're single or $44,000 if you're married, up to 85% of your Social Security benefit will be taxed. So what is provisional income? Provisional income is one half of your Social Security benefits plus your modified adjusted gross income. And your modified adjusted gross income is basically your adjusted gross income. Then it adds back in things like tax-exempt interest, savings bond interest that would have been deducted, foreign earned income, and any IRA deductions. Look, I never said anything was, that the government did was easy. So in the next segment, I'll go through your spousal options and run through a couple of case study scenarios to give you a really good understanding of how your benefits work together in conjunction with your spouse's benefits. I'll see you in the next video.